Hey now. Okay, barring anything weird or crazy happening, next week is going to be uh, the second Toy Chess video. If uh, new For new subscribers, if you haven't seen the first one, I would highly recommend that you check out my very first Toy Chess video that I did last year. I'm going to put the link in the description in the description box um, it, it was a lot of fun a lot of G.I. Joe a lot of a lot of uh, Transformers hell there was even a gem doll in that bitch it was uh, a lot of fun the second one should be even better um, I'm gonna be showing you my prized possession out of everything that I own that's collectible that'll be I'm gonna show you my prized possession it's gonna be a lot of fun so um, tune in next week all right Okay, uh, I got my car fixed, as if you knew my uh, car was broken down anyway, but it was, it was, you know, with some crap going on with it, and I fixed it, it cost me about a grand total to fix everything, and I think it's still not even really fixed all like that, but anyway, okay, spent a grand, got that fixed, and the very next week, my Mac takes a poo on me. And if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, it's only going to cost me about 300 bucks. So I have to recoup $1,300. <laughs> Good times. So that means I'm going to have to sell some shit. Um, check my eBay. Um, I'm going to be putting some stuff on eBay. And I, I guess I'll put the link uh, for my eBay in the uh, description too. And I'm probably going to be getting rid of uh, Batman 232, uh, 251, along with Avengers 57. And remember that ratty-ass copy of uh, Batman Adventures number 12? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna see the one with the cover detached. This one, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to see. I'm going to put it up and just to see what the hell it goes for. All right, I'm going to let it go to auction and I'm going to see what it goes for. I would like to give the bro price, but I need to recoup $1,300. Now, I'm not going to get it with, you know, just with these books alone, but I got to start somewhere. All right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'm also, I'm going to be selling these too. These are uh, Marvel Legends reprints of, um, of uh, key issues. So you can see there. All right, I picked these up for two dollars a piece, and I know these two are going for about twenty right now. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm down with that. All right. Now I was not gonna show this book in this video because it doesn't fit with the theme of the video, but I just picked. I just got this in the mail today, and I'm really, really, really. I'm just super excited to have these. I mean, to get this book in. This is a book that has been, it just kind of showed up on my radar earlier this year. And um, when I found out about it, I totally flipped out. I wanted this book so badly when I first found out about it. I uh, I remember contacting Hero Hunter 81 and I'm just like, oh my God, do you know about this book? Oh, I got to have it. I got to find it. I went to, uh, I went to every uh, comic book shop, every comic book shop that I went to. I asked the store owners about it. Some people, some guys knew, some guys didn't didn't know, and um, of course, and they didn't have it. Uh, I went to conventions and all that kind of stuff, and nobody seemed to have uh, this book right here. This is Linda Carter, Student Nurse Number One. This actually this predates uh, Marvel's. Uh, fan this pre this is a Marvel book, but I think it was it's right before. Uh, the Fantastic Four, uh, Marvel was Atlas Comics, and um, there, oh, there's a MC right there for Marvel Comics. But this predates uh, the Fantastic Four by about a couple of months, and uh, a lot of people think that Night Nurse is the uh, first appearance of Linda Carter. Night Nurse. I, there's a whole story on Night Nurse that uh, I could get into, but I just for the interest of time, I'm not going to get into. But um, I, this book here, I absolutely, uh, wanted this. And, um, but like I said, uh, a lot of people think that Linda Carter's first appearance is in Night Nurse number one. No, it is not. It's in Linda Carter's student nurse. 
Uh, it ran for about nine issues and uh, written by Stan Lee with, um, I forget who, Al Hartley did the art. Um, this goes in the uh, romance section. This is a book that definitely goes in the romance section. But um, yeah, I, I'm super excited to have this. I, I got this for, I picked this up off of eBay. I uh, ordered it on Monday, got it uh, today on Friday. I uh, paid uh, $50, including the cost of shipping. I'll be honest with you, I'd have paid double that. I'd have paid 100 for this. Because this is, this is that type of book that you'll just pay whatever for just to have it. You know what I mean? And I'm really happy to have uh, Linda Carter, student nurse number one. Hell yeah, baby. That's what it do. Okay, now we're going to get with the theme of this video, which is uh, books that aren't necessarily that expensive, but are worth having. All right. Okay, we're going to start the game off with uh, New Titans number 99, the first appearance of uh, Roy Harper as Arsenal. Yeah, okay. I mean, a nice little uh, early 90s book. That, that Tom Grummet, I remember him from the early 90s. Definitely remember him that 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 I don't know, that uh, ugh, mediocre ass art. But anyway, it's solid, but God, it's just something just underwhelming about it. But a good book to have, especially if you're an uh, Arrow fan. I mean, you can't buy the first appearance of uh, Roy Harper or um, Oliver Queen, but you can at least have this. All right. Okay. Fury of Firestorm, number 23. I upgraded this book. This uh, cost, how much? Did, this book cost me two bucks. This one cost me two bucks. Fury of Firestorm number 23, uh, first appearance of Felicity Smoke. Like I said, it's an upgrade, and uh, it's it's in really it's in really really high grade shape. I have to say, it's really nice. So, and this book is worth nothing. I am so surprised. I, I just don't think a lot of people know. You know what I mean? If the first appearance, if people can like jump at the first appearance of Amanda Waller and you know, characters like that, they can definitely, you know, be on, they can definitely uh, jump on the first appearance of uh, Felicity Smoke, you know what I mean? Really, really popular character on the Arrow show, so, I mean, and it's not worth anything. I just don't think people know, so now you know. Look out for this book. Okay, uh, Preacher, number 51, and Trans Metropolitan, number 23, now the, both of these books have the um, have the preview for a hundred bullets number one, so I guess you can call it the first appearance of a hundred bullets. And do I have the first issue? Mm, no, but I have these, so that's good enough for now. Ah, oh, here we go. Now here's a book. Here's a book. Oh, again, I uh, picked this up for two bucks. And I think I got this for like 75 cents because it was a sale going on. I should have picked up more books at that sh at the shop. But uh, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Here we go, baby. Look at that. This is a cool book. This is a really, really, really cool book. Uh, a, a not worth anything. And if you, as, if you can see by the tag, I picked this up for $5. This is Batman... 363 first appearance of Noctura. This book came out in 1983, so uh 31 years ago. I did I knew nothing about this character up until uh the time I bought this book. Um I guess from what I understand she's kind of like this um she's not a vampire but she has an illness, she has a condition that uh, prevents her from going out in sunlight. So that's why she's, kind of, if you can see, if you can see the uh, character, she's like really pale, almost like a vampire. And what I was, when I was reading up on the character, she was actually going to be in the Batman animated series, but she was going to be, but she was going to be portrayed as a vampire, but they kind of nixed that story because Batman was going to be a vampire and he was going to be blood sucking and all that kind of stuff. And that doesn't fit with a kid show. So, um, again, uh, Noctura, this book is worth, I, I paid five bucks for it. I think that's what it's going for. If that, 
I really think that um, this is that type of book that you probably should jump on just because it's a first appearance. Noctura was all over the 80s. I, I'm a 31-year-old character and, that I knew nothing about, and she was in pr pr pretty much every Batman story during the 80s. And I, you know, especially during the mid 80s. And I'm looking back and seeing the covers with her on it. And there are like a ton of covers with Noctura on it. And she was a major player uh, during the 80s. And there was a, and here's her actual, okay. Uh, Batman 683, first appearance, first full appearance in Detective Comics uh, number 529, which came, this is, this is September 1983. This is August of 1983. This is her cameo appearance. Um, you see her, the top of her head and her hand. So I guess it counts as a first appearance. And she's definitely referenced in the book. Um, her, um, her, ah, shoot. What's her, her real name is um, something Knight. I forget her first name. Uh, Natalia Knight. So there you go. And she's referenced in the book too, so... Um, I would definitely be on the lookout for these two books. They're not, they don't, again, they don't go for anything. I picked this up for $3, picked this up for 5 They don't go for anything, but if you see them at a comic book shop, go on ahead and buy them. Because I think they're, they're again, worth having. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, number 150, the double-sized issue. Got this for 5 bucks. This is in really, really, really nice shape, as you can see. The spine here is just, I mean, completely black, you know, maybe one spine tick there, but hell, I, it, I remember seeing this at a shop um, about a week prior and it was behind, it was on the wall and they wanted like 20 bucks for it. And I'm like, damn that, ain't nobody paying that. Uh, it really doesn't go for that much, really. I got it for five, and I mean the cover, Doctor Doom cover, like oh uh, the fake Doctor Doom face off cover. Hell yeah, beautiful stuff. We got to keep moving because we have so many books to go, and I'm really long winded, like I've said previously in other videos. Skull the Slayer number one. I picked up so many books from this one. So actually, all these books that you're pretty much seeing with the exception of like maybe the first four, I picked all up from the same shop. And, um, and a lot of these books, I just pooped out when it came to, uh, bagging and boarding. I'm, I'm just like, ah, hell with it. <laughs> so, uh, Skull the Slayer number one, uh, I think this book might go for 20 bucks, might first appearance of Skull the Slayer. So hell yeah. A nice bronze age Marvel issue. And a number one. Fuck yeah. Maiden, Pot of Man, number 265, first appearance of the Silver Sable. I think this is like my third copy. But I think this is uh, like a really, really, really high grade one. I really couldn't pass this up. Again, doesn't go for anything. Um, first appearance of the Silver Sable. I mean, she has all the potential. This character has all the potential in the world to be like... Um, like the black cat, you know what I mean? The black cat's first appearance is like through the roof right now. It's like, man, people want crazy amounts for even just a mid-grade copy. So uh, 265, I think the next best thing to black cat, go jump on it. All right. The second appearance of the black mask, Batty Man, number 387. Got it for five bucks. You know, what can you say about it? So, yeah, second appearance of the black mask. Uh, damn, more Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Number one, first appearance of Firestar. Now I bought this book a couple of, about a year ago or so, and um, but I couldn't pass it up for five bucks. And it's uh, I think it's def it's definitely a near mint book. All all of these books here are pretty much near mint. All right, I, damn, a lot of Spider-Man going on here. Um, this is the, <laughs> this is a weird one. When I saw it, I'm just, oh, what the hell is this? Let me buy this. This is the all detergent, um, exclusive, you, you know how, you know, like a promotional comic. And, um, it's, and it reprints, um, a, a, a John Romita story and it reprints a, or a Steve Ditko, uh, drawn story. So. I'm not, I think this book goes for about 10 bucks. Got it for five. It's in near mint shape. 
uh, Cobra number one. Uh, first appearance of the character. This is from DC. Um, you know, got it for again, got it for five bucks. Um, yeah, I mean, not too much to say about it. It's in really, really high grade, you know, probably very fine plus plus. Um, you know, I think it probably goes for 10 or 15, you know, on a good day. So here's a cool book that goes for absolutely nothing. Pick this up for three. Uh, Master of uh, Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, number 77, first appearance of Zoran. The weapons master. I mean, this is that type of character that you could probably that'll probably could or should show up on uh, the Agents of Shield show. Might even be featured in a movie. Who knows? Might even have his own top billing. You know, as a top villain in someone else's uh, comic book series. You know, it, it, sky's the limit. You know, for a character like this, and he looks cool as shit too, doesn't he? Looks dope. Ah, here we go. Brave and the Bold. Number 159, um, this is a rare early cover appearance of Raish Al Ghul. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is one of those books that, uh, again, is not that, um, isn't that expensive. I picked this up for three bucks. It's in near mint shape, but it is really, really, really tough to find. If you go to the Brave and the Bold section of a comic book shop, this one is missing all the time without fail and if you find it um you're very lucky all right it's not expensive uh, again got it for three bucks but it's always missing jonah hex number 92 the final issue in the uh, uh i believe first jonah hex series and um i got it for three bucks i think it goes for about 12 12 or 15 on a good day so yeah okay and it's a newsstand copy. Invincible Iron Man, number 152. Now, is this the first appearance of uh, Iron Man Stealth Armor? I'm I, I'm trying to trying to read up on it, but I don't know. I'm like brain farting as I'm trying as I'm reading it. So, is 152 the first appearance of the Stealth Armor? Got it for three bucks. I think this book goes for like maybe. Ugh, maybe 15, maybe, maybe 15. Machine Man number 18. Um, Alpha, Pl Alpha Flight appearance. Okay, got this for three bucks. I was really surprised to see just because I was at a shop before this one, before uh, going to this shop and they wanted like, God, I think they wanted $25 for this. And I got this for three and it's in near mint shape. That's a no-brainer right there. For some reason, it's um, I don't know. People want a lot of money for this, for some reason. But it but and it doesn't sell for that much. You know what I mean? People aren't gonna pay that much. But it's it's one of those books that uh, people aren't gonna buy at a high at a high uh, co at a high price. But s store owners want to charge you a lot for it. I don't know. But I got it for three bucks. Here's something really cool. Uh, do you remember Satana from um, Vampire Tales and Marvel Preview? You remember her? Where's that? Where are you? 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 Oh, here she is, right here. Remember her? Well, her first comic book appearance is in uh, Marvel Premiere number uh, twenty-seven. I, I, it, I, again, it doesn't go for anything. But I think if you have Marvel Preview number seven and Vampire Tales number two, this is a real, this is a cool book to have. You know, got it for three bucks, and it's in really high grade shape. Uh, oh, here's my books right here. Duh. Here we go with uh, Power Man number forty nine. Now this one is it, this one. I think uh, you should get. Because number forty-eight is the is the first time that Power Man Luke Cage meets um, Iron Fist. Number fifty is the is the uh, beginning of the Heroes for Hire series, and this kind of falls in between. So I think you know forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty. You just go on ahead and pick that up. Got it for three bucks. High grade shape. 
All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, I got the entire mini series. It's like, a, it's in a box, and I don't feel like getting the other three issues. They're not even bagged or boarded. Um, but I picked up the set of one through four uh, for $3. I was really surprised. And uh, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, let me go and get that. Let me go and get that. Ragman. Number one, um, I believe this is the first appearance of the character, too. So, uh, yeah, this is, you know, got it for three. But did I get it for three or did I get it for five? I think I got it for three. Um, yeah. What can you say? It's uh, I mean, again, it's one of the this is one of those books that you'll see like up on a wall or something like that. And like a store owner will probably want like, a you know, probably want like 10 or 15 bucks or something like that for it. And I'm like, ain't, you ain't paying that. I'll pay, you know three or five for it but not no uh tw you know 10 or 20 uh detective comics number what is this 549 i think this was three bucks too um the, i guess the only reason why i bought it because harvey bullock was on the cover i think that's the only reason why i bought this oh here we go justice league of america number 220 um i you know whatever uh, the, uh, origin, they're, they're retconning, uh, the Black Canary, and they're kind of, like, re reshaping her origin to kind of update it for, uh, the modern audience. You know, doesn't go for anything, but it's cool to, ha it's cool to have if you have, uh, Justice League of America number 75. Ah, here's something really cool. Uh, Avengers number 223 that probably this has got to be got to be one of uh, the most famous uh, Avengers covers. Look at it some more. Do I have to explain it? There you go. All right. Good. Some more Avengers 195. This is the first cameo appearance of uh, the Taskmaster. Got it for three bucks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. OK. All right. Check this out. DC Comics presents number 41. I love, I love when Superman takes on the Joker. I love it. I like when uh, Bruce Wayne dates Lois Lane. I like, you know, I like when uh, Bru when Batman takes on Lex Luthor. I like when um, Superman and Batman, they kind of switch um, dancing partners. You know what I mean? And this is no exception right here. And this is a cool ass cover. I think this was, I think this cost me three bucks. And I believe this book, um, again, on a good day might go for 15. Um, just a cool ass purple cover too. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And last but not least, Freedom Fighters, number one. Um, I don't know. I, I got it. I think this was like maybe five bucks or something like that. I don't know. I don't know that much about the freedom fighters really, but, um, I know again, this was on a wall at someone's shop and they wanted 20 for it. All right. And this one is in really, really nice shape too. I have to say, uh, you know, like maybe a couple of spine ticks, but overall, uh, really in, there's like a little ding right there, right there, but overall it's really nice. So, uh, again, got a lot, got all of these books cheap with the, you know, with the exception of this one, but, oh, this was so worth it. This was so worth it. So worth it. Uh, next, next week is the toy chest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, watch the first one that I did last year and, uh, that'll get you, that'll get you, that'll get you hype for next week. So, um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.